Hey, Sally, it's Nancy. Nancy, hi, how's it going? Your outboard motorboat is missing a spark plug. Is there one around here by any chance? I wouldn't know a spark plug if I swallowed one whole. But you need that boat, Nancy. Right now, it's your lifeline. You can't use your car, and believe me, you can't walk anywhere because all the paths around the house end in this thick, horrible brush. You've got to get it fixed. Wait a minute. The bird watcher, he's got a boat. Maybe you could borrow his spark plug or something. Go down the path that's to the right as you look out toward the lake from the house, and you'll eventually see his observation platform. Try him at night. He never seems to be around during the day. Are you aware that you're the proud owner of your very own cemetery? Yes. When the realtor told me there was a cemetery on the property, I went, ugh. But when I saw how far from the house it was and how small it was, I decided I could live with it, as it were. Do you know if Malone is really buried there? The realtor said the cemetery was just a sham, that there's nothing under those tombstones but dirt. But he may have just been saying that so I'd buy the place. The only way to know for sure whether or not Malone is there is to start digging, and I'm certainly not going to do that. Talk to you later. Thanks again, Nancy. <phone rings> Nancy, how's it going? This caller ID stuff is going to take some getting used to. I'm here too, Nan. What's going on? There's a private cemetery in the woods out back. Malone and his dogs are supposedly buried there. Creepy. And there were paw prints in the cemetery. Fresh paw prints. Are you sure you're going to be all right there by yourself? We'd volunteer to drive out there and keep you company, but unfortunately my car's in the shop, and you know what a scaredy cat George is. That's okay. There's really no room, and believe me, living conditions here are pretty primitive. Scaredy cat, huh? You're going to pay for that remark, dear cousin. I could sure use a nice big hint right about now. You're going to be dead in the water, as it were, until you get Sally's boat fixed. Go find that bird watcher. He has a boat, too, so he must know where you can get a spark plug. Bye, you guys. See ya. Bye. <phone rings> This doesn't look very safe. The moon's so bright, I won't need my flashlight. Well, it's Miss Nancy Drew. Does that mean you'd like me to call you Mr. Red Knot? All right, then. Hello, Nancy. Now put a muffler on it, would ya? 
I just heard a Cerulean Warbler. Really? Are they rare? Something tells me they're gonna be with you around. You didn't come up here to chit-chat, did you? Do you know much about outboard motors? Sure do. Only type of motorized vehicle that's allowed on Moon Lake. Heck, if it were up to me, I'd ban them too. Have everybody get around by canoe. Nothing like the threat of physical activity to keep tourists away. Why don't you like tourists? I came to see birds, not people. The more people there are in a forest, the fewer birds there are. It's a fact of life. Reason I like to come here is because nobody else does. It's perfect. Not a decent grocery store, restaurant, or motel for miles. There's no place nearby that sells boat parts? Sally's outboard is missing a spark plug. I might be able to help you out. After all, I was a Boy Scout. Be prepared. <laughs> but I don't want to leave you unprepared. Well, just so happens I've got two spark plugs right here in my pocket. Question is, if I give you one, what do I get for it? I don't need cash, but maybe you could take a few pictures for me. Know how to use a digital camera? My friend Bess just got one for her birthday. I helped her figure out how to use it. There's a couple of birds I'm supposed to take pictures of for Pepsob. That's people for the preservation and study of birds. You can recognize them by their songs, which are on this tape, which you can play on my cassette player, which you're going to have to get from M's Emporium as soon as you get your boat fixed. <laughs> Think you can handle that? Sounds good. Here's everything you'll need. M's Emporium is up lake on the west side. Not that I'm trying to get you out of my hair or anything, but try not to come pestering me till you're done, okay? One more thing. You smoke? Uh, only when I'm on fire. Oh, you're a spunky one, aren't you? Well, these woods may not look it, but they're tinder dry. One lit match, and the best bird habitat on the east coast will go up in smoke. So watch what you do. Because if anything like that happens, I won't be looking for birds anymore. I'll be looking for you. Watch yourself out there. must be very wrong with this engine.
there. Welcome to M's Emporium. I'm Emily Griffin. My name's Nancy Drew. I'm staying out at the old Malone place. You know, the house Sally McDonald bought. Now what's she doing inviting guests out to that old dump? She's got a little problem she's hoping I can solve. But right now, I need a chainsaw. A chainsaw? What I really need is for someone to come out and remove the tree that fell in Sally's driveway. I'll get Tucker Davis to take care of it. Gotta warn you, though. Tucker tends to do things in his own sweet time. So how come Sally ain't with you? She thinks the Malone place is haunted, and after last night, I can see why. I told her. I said, Sally, that old house is gonna be nothing but trouble. And sure enough, Malone's hounds have come back. Just when we all thought they were finally resting in peace. When was the last time they appeared? Seems like they show up every time somebody buys the place. So the last time would have been a 10, 15 years ago. Have you ever seen the dogs? Nope. Don't want to, neither. Just hearing them howl's bad enough. Scares the bejeebies out of me. I got the bejeebies scared out of me twice last night. Just before I saw the dogs, I caught a man named Red Knot prowling around outside the house. The bird watcher. Comes in every so often to stock up on that weirdo food he eats. You know how them tree hugger types are. It seemed to me that he was more into watching birds than hugging trees. Yeah, well, whatever. One thing's for sure. He's gonna wind up with a dose of buckshot in his hind end if and he keeps tramping through people's yards making noises like he just popped out of a UFO. Mr. Knott did me a favor, and in return he asked me to pick up a cassette player from you. Oh, yeah. I got it right here. Thought maybe the old coot had forgotten he left it here. What else can I do you for? I need to get the water from Sally's well tested. How would I go about doing that? Do you know? Just get a water testing kit from the ranger station and follow the directions. Where's the ranger station? Just up lake from Sally's on the east side. Why would there be a problem with the water? Cause it's well water. And seeing as Malone dug that well 80 years ago, what gets pumped out of it could be pretty funky. These so-called ghost dogs left very real paw prints. I saw some near the cemetery that's by the Malone house. Have you ever been there? <laughs> Can't say as I have. Poking around cemeteries ain't exactly a hobby with me. Does the name Waldo Mathias mean anything to you? Hmm. Can't say as it does. Where do you find your... Achoo! Bless you. It's all the dust. Sometimes I think it grows on this stuff. Some of those old bottles are beautiful. Where'd you get them? Found them. See, back in the days of Prohibition, that old Malone place used to be Party Central. Only way to get to and from back then was by boat. And when those boats dumped, on account of bad weather or bad driving or the feds suddenly showing up, while well, everything from diamond necklaces to full bottles of illegal booze sank to the bottom of the lake. So it's finders keepers, huh? That's right. See, recovering objects from the lake bed is illegal. According to Squeaky Wheel Acres, dragging the lake for artifacts was upsetting its delicate eco-balance. So thanks mostly to his constant squawking, the state banned it. Squeaky Wheel Acres? Jeff Akers, local park ranger. I keep telling him all this stuff washed up on shore. But does that snobby little stickler for rules believe me? Sounds like you aren't real fond of Ranger Akers. Jeff Akers could take all his precious rules and regulations and take a flying leap. Now, I got nothing against getting more customers in here, mind you. But I kind of like Moon Lake the way it is. Small, quiet, out of the way. But Jeff Akers... Why, there's nothing he'd like better than to see all the lake and all the property around it turn into one big, noisy, jam-packed state park. Why would he want that? He's the type of guy who likes to boss people around, makes them feel important. So if the park got way bigger and was crawling with tourists, why, instead of giving out maybe one ticket for littering every two days, he'd be giving out one dozen tickets every two hours. He'd be in heaven. Well, hey... I'm sure you got better things to do than getting your ear chewed off by yours truly. I need to buy something. You want it? I got it. As long as you pay cash, that is. That's just it. I'm running kind of low on cash. 
Would it be possible to start a line of credit? My daddy always said, neither a borrower nor a lender be. But I'll tell you what, seeing as how you're a friend of Sally's and seeing as how I got some things around here that could use doing, I guess we could work something out. What is it you need? Do you sell sandpaper by any chance? I do, but Mr. Birdbrain was in last week and cleaned me out. Said he was tired of that observation platform of his giving him splinters in his hinter regions. I've disturbed him enough already. Would anyone else around here have some? He's your only hope, but you better ask him for it quick. That deck of his is pretty big, and those squares I sold him are pretty small. Guess I'll see you later. Always a pleasure. American Goldfinch Northern Cardinal Red-tailed hawk Western Tanager I probably shouldn't mess around with this without Ranger Acre's permission.
Hello, can I help you? I'm Nancy Drew. I'm visiting the woman who bought the old Malone place, Sally McDonald. Do you know her? Sally McDonald? Yes, I've had occasion to write her up once or twice. You find her for something? She littered. Food items, as I recall. An apple core, crust of bread, something like that. She tried to argue that the animals would eat them, but litter is litter. And besides, feeding the wildlife is also illegal. Sounds like you take your job very seriously. Being a park ranger can be a thankless job, Ms. Drew. But I know that every time I enforce a rule, I'm helping to preserve some plant or animal, however minute, for future generations of park goers. What do you know about the pack of dogs that's been terrorizing Sally? They've scared her so bad that she's gone to her aunt's in Philadelphia. Don't tell me she believes all that ghost dog stuff. I saw them myself. Whatever's out there, I'm sure they're no more and no less than exactly what they look and sound like. Dogs. Living, breathing, very noisy, dogs. Any idea what would make a dog's eyes glow yellow? Something in their diet, maybe? Some oddball vitamin or protein. Why do you think dogs would attack Sally's house? Dogs can be trained to do almost anything. Have you ever investigated the ghost dogs yourself? Do you always ask this many questions? Sorry, it's my nature, but would it be okay if I asked a few more? I'm a very busy man, Ms. Drew, but <sighs> I am here to serve the public. Do you have something I could use to test the well water at Sally's? Sure do. Simple to use, too. Just pump some water into this vial, return the sample to me, I'll send it off, and in a day or two you'll find out whether or not your water's fit to drink. Does everyone out here have a well? <laughs> everyone who doesn't want to die of thirst does. Hooking up to a municipal water supply is out of the question. Too expensive. This place isn't exactly your ordinary ranger station, is it? It's also the Moon Lake Post Office, and it's the unofficial Moon Lake Museum of Factual and Natural History. I've lived here all my life, so I can't help but feel obligated to protect not only the area's flora and fauna, but also its past which is apparently rather colorful. As a member of the law enforcement community, I prefer to dwell on the positive aspects of history instead of on the activities of a bunch of glorified thugs. So you'd probably like to see the old Malone place torn down and forgotten. Not necessarily. It's hard to ignore its potential as a tourist attraction. And if that's what it takes to draw more people to Moon Lake, hmm, I'm a reasonable man.
As an officer of the law, can you think of anyone who might want to scare Sally off her property? The woman who owns the shop across the lake? Emily Griffin? I can't prove it, but I'm pretty sure she's been dragging the lake in front of Malone's house for artifacts, which is illegal. It would be a lot easier for her to do her dirty work if nobody was living there. What do you know about the cemetery behind the Malone house? People are buried there. Beyond that, what's to know? Is Malone buried there? That's the rumor. The inscription on one of the tombstones reads Waldo Matthias. Does that name ring any bells? Not in my steeple. Would it be okay if I looked around? Please do. And if you have any questions, any more questions, just ask. Would you mind mailing this letter for me? Not at all. Thanks for all your help. Always a pleasure. Oh, and one last thing. The deer mouse population has boomed this year, so please take precautions if you're cleaning out any area where they may have nested. They can carry some nasty diseases. Thanks for the tip, Ranger Acres. Thank you.